to do something positive for um, our new refugee neighbors in Lakewood and the surrounding Cleveland area. Um, I thought it was a good time to really um, make them feel more welcome and give them a tangible symbol of a group that really does welcome them to, to the area. Um, you know, you can say it to somebody, say it and say it, but to actually have a symbol, a mat, where every time they're coming in the house or leaving their new house, they'll have that symbol to show them there's a group here that is happy I'm here. I just like that idea of like a small community just coming together for a positive event. So like as a veteran, it's nice to feel like part of the community and to watch these people without any real ulterior motives just come here to try and do something nice. It's very refreshing, you know, it's kind of what you need to like balance the scales, so to speak, to, to be able to interact with events like this personally. You know? I, I feel like besides New York, Cleveland's one of the original melting pots, you know, I mean, there's one of everybody here. I grew up in Cleveland Heights, which was always really diverse. So diversity is really important to me. So Cleveland standing up for all kinds of people coming into our country and welcoming them. I mean, it doesn't get more genuinely Cleveland than that, I think. Well, I think that um, for me as a parent, it's really important for my kids to understand that, you know, not everybody has um, the, uh, you know, the life that we live here in the United States and that we should be um, grateful for that, but also we should be get, give back because of that, that we have to, um, you know, share what we have with others and, and be welcoming to others. It's like keeping your house closed to visitors at all times. It's no fun. We have a beautiful country. We have a beautiful place to live. Let's open up the doors and let these people enjoy our couch, enjoy our fireplace, enjoy a welcome mat for their own place. Um, say hello, make a friend, smile. I mean, you may not speak their language, but a smile is the same language to everyone. As different as the refugees can be from us, they are so much the same and if you just talk with some of them, it's so easy to find something in common. It's so easy to find, oh, you like, you like that show, so do I. You like to eat that, so do I. You had that experience as a kid, so did I. So there's so many differences between us, but if given a chance, there's so much that we have in common. There's a, there's a couple of things here. I think we have to raise the awareness around here because a lot of people don't even realize there is such a place as a refugee clinic right here in, in the Cleveland area. That's important. The other one is they uh, develop some compassion for people that have less than you. A lot of people are hurting right now, but some people are hurting more than other people. And so we need to help one another. And, uh, and that's what's nice about a, 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 a gathering like this. I think one of the secrets of life that people have to realize is if there is a secret of life, uh, the best way to ever help yourself is to help other people. And this is what this does right here for people who can't quite help themselves yet. Uh, it's a great opportunity. So really, I'm not doing it uh, for other people. I'm doing it for myself. Uh, you should donate to the refugee response <laughs> and volunteer to be a mentor for the children and the families coming in. I guess I'm hoping that people get more involved in um, the refugee services in the community and, and learn more about you know the plight of refugees um, and just kind of open their minds. I think probably if you're here, your your mind is probably pretty open already. But um, I would love for our community to be even more open, and welcoming. That refugees are more than the term refugee; that they are people. That the event, that the traumatic event, the war, the conflict caused them to become refugees. And what they're trying to do here is to lose that and to be in, and to go back into their lives. You know, it's really easy to to see and to read about how kind of narrow-minded people can be, and how scared people can be, and how easily their opinions can be modified through through what they consume. But for every person that's like that there's five or 10 or 20 people that are just good people, that just want good neighbors. 
You know, it does not matter where you're from. If you're a decent human being, I want you as my neighbor. I don't care who you worship or, or where you're from or what kind of sport you like or what you like to drink or eat or how late you stay up at night. If you're a decent human being, then I just want you around. So I think for all the refugees in Cleveland, just remember that for every one negative thing you might hear, if you find the right people, you're gonna hear 10 positive things. And for every one person that treats you unfairly, there's 10 people out there that are willing to embrace you as, as a brother, you know, as, as a sister, as, as an American, just embrace you for who you are. I mean, that's what this country is about. Welcome to our country. It's a very nice new world.